In 2009, a user on Reddit submitted a post honoring their friend Milo who had just passed away. Both Milo and this user were connected to a mysterious photo hosting website. Curious internet sleuths started to dig deeper into this strange site where they uncovered a globe-spanning web of intrigue and military conspiracy. Today, we will be discussing the mysterious website known as Lake City Quiet Pills. This is The Red Web. So let's start at the very beginning. We have the user named Religion of Peace. This user claimed to have military experience in security operations. He claimed to have served during World War II and most notably on D-Day. Now this goes all the way back, right, June 6, 1944. So this is a long time that this man has been around. He's claiming to have been 79 years old. And so notably, he's got a domain site that he likes to link to called LakeCityQuietPills.com. He kind of went inactive. And on the very same day that he went inactive, on July 17, 2009, another user made a post. This user was named 2-6. We'll just call him 2-6. And the title of the post was The End of Religion of Peace. He died today. And then within that post, he identifies Religion of Peace as a man named Milo. And he goes on to talk about how miserable, mean, and lonely this guy was how he had very little belongings that were all being donated. And beyond that, he also claims to have hosted that old guy's image host over at LakeCityQuietPills.com. So now we have a direct connection, somebody who knows this character in person. And of course, as usual, when something mysterious shows up, Reddit decides to dig a little deeper. So if you go to the website now, it says that the IP address cannot be resolved, can't be found, it's nowhere to be seen. But then someone decided to look a little closer, and within the HTML code of the website seem to be these hidden messages in the source code. And there's what appears to be job listings. Now I'll read out one of these verbatim. It says, immediate need, eight to 10 Chinese slash Korean. Fluent Korean, dialect accent. Details after contact. 12 week half pay sequester on refusal. They feel very much like someone seeking military contractors, mercenary work of some sort. So as people started to dig deeper into this website, they found more messages. And there's one dated on 17 July, 2009, which as you might remember, is the same day that 2-6 posted about Religion of Peace's death on Reddit. And that message says, I am sorry to tell you that old Milo died yesterday. He went quiet and calm, not like we all figured. I gave that fat mangy cat of his to the little girl next door. No services or nothing. You know Milo. So hoist a few for the old man. Remember what he said. Keep the faith with the man who's got your back. And there are more posts that happened throughout the rest of the year. On September 30th, 2009, there's a new post that says, For those who have asked, I bricked Milo's iron key the same day. All is well. For those of you who might not be aware, an iron key is actually an encrypted USB storage device. So it could be a key to something, or it could be holding secure footage. The only people that know about these posts as they're being made are these mysterious users of the website. And now we start to get into what really kicks everything out of control. And so now we're into January of 2010. And they're talking about having a birthday party for the old man on the 19th. The party starts at 1500, as usual. Send your RSVP to Shade the day before the event. It's the eve of the birthday party. Details, another message comes through. They're planning the birthday party, and he says, We've got 38 rooms in the Marriott on 46. Shade has the key cards for locals. You pick them up at the party. 38 rooms. 38 rooms. That is insane. That is a lot of people. So here's this. They say, Give your travel name to the desk, and that's it. There's no ID needed since we're covering the bill. Keep the room service under 500, and the phones are not secure. And this is all, again, still posted mm-hmm. uh, through the secret forums of this website. Right. They're all on the back end. And this is where the Redditors start to come into play. A couple of very astute users started to look at the dates of these posts and tried to line things up. And that's where we come to January 19th, 2010, the same day that we're talking about Milo's birthday party, the same day that a very complex assassination took place at a hotel in Dubai. And that was the assassination of Mahmoud Al-Mabou. For those who don't know who that is, Al-Mabou co-founded the military wing of Hamas. And Hamas is classified as a terrorist organization among many countries and many continents. Looking into this assassination, he could be seen to be traveling alone. His 
movement was tracked on various security cameras, and through the cameras we can see that his path crossed with many individuals, leading us to have at least 29 suspects on this case involved with his assassination, 26 of whom had passports that were either forged or stolen from various European countries. Oh. And essentially, what these cameras show is that these suspects waited for Al Mabu to leave his room, go about his business in Dubai, whatever that might be. They gained access to his room, and then they waited for his return to execute the hit. And what's fascinating here is that the date and the time of both this assassination and Milo's supposed birthday party line up exactly. Gah! Even further, and we're still going. What? It turns out that several of these suspects were given credit cards that were traced back to an area known as Storm Lake, Iowa, which is a 50-minute drive one county over from Lake City, which is the namesake for the website Lake City Quiet Pills. We've only just scratched the surface with Lake City Quiet Pills. If you want all the extra information and all the theories, check out Red Web wherever you get podcasts. 